Hey guys, now in today's video, I'm gonna share with you a keyboard that is about to hit the market that's gonna transform the way you think about keyboards. If you're looking for a keyboard and a touchpad, well, I'm gonna show you something that is unlike any other keyboard that you've seen before. Check this out. This is the CLVX1 keyboard, and it combines the touchpad and keyboard experience unlike anything I've ever seen before. This area right here is your actual touchpad. You heard that right, but this area here is also your keyboard. And you heard that right too. As you swipe, you notice how the keys all lit up? You're actually performing the move gesture, like if you were on a touchpad, moving the pointer from left to right. If I do this, the, now the pointer would go from right to left. I also have the ability to click here at the very bottom. I have volume controls that I can swipe left to right, and I could still use this as a keyboard. You're gonna see this guy in action, super cool. And if you haven't noticed, it has lighting too. Let's check it out. Now the CLVX1 keyboard is a keyboard touchpad combination. And they have a really unique way to implement, again, that touchpad feature into the keyboard without expanding the actual real estate by just leveraging the same area that you would type. Never seen anything like this before. Also, it has RGB lighting and the RGB lighting is by key. So that's also really unique. It has a laptop type, um, I would say style keypad. So it doesn't have the really large raised, uh, I would say keys, but it has more like the ones that you would find on a laptop, which I do a lot of laptop uh, typing and I find very enjoyable. Uh, the other thing about this is that it has mouse controls, right? And the mouse control is like, if I just use one finger, right? And I swipe, the mouse pointer is gonna move around. If I use two fingers and I do something like this, I'm now scrolling. If I use three fingers, I can invoke gestures. And guess what? You can just tap to invoke a click. You do have also things, other things you can do. Two fingers to, let's say, to zoom, right? Two fingers to pinch. You also have drag and drop. All these capabilities that you would expect on having a touchpad are part of the keyboard touch area. I find it pretty unique. The other thing is it has three Bluetooth settings, USB-C, and right now as of this video, and this is a first look, not a review, it supports Windows and Linux. I do have it connected to my Mac. I have it actually connected to my Mac Studio, and it's been working fine. The only thing is that the software that comes with this, the companion software that allows you to configure even more options, is not available yet. So this is, again, not a review. This is a first look of a very unique uh, product, and it's something that if you're interested in supporting, you can check this out. Now, it does have a 1,900 milliamp hour battery, which is gonna give you one week. It's slim, you're gonna see how slim this thing is, and it's aluminum based. It has two inclinations, so you can actually adjust the actual, um, I would say keyboard, different angles, and then it has auto brightness. So let's take a closer look, and I'll show you some of the features. Now at first glance, this keyboard looks like a traditional keyboard, right? So you basically have your keyboard area here, you have your numerical pad on this side, up, down, left, right, you know, insert, everything is over here. And a couple of things that you'll notice is in this area here, you have this boxed area. Well, this is your type area, but it's also your touchpad all at once. Watch what's gonna happen as I swipe. Notice how the letters light up. That's showing you the touchpad function. I'm gonna swipe this way, and you can see how they change colors. Well, as I'm doing this, if I were connected to a PC or a Mac, um, my mouse pointer would move to left or to right. If I do one of these things, like in an angle, notice how they light up? The mouse pointer is gonna move as well. Now, so you have all those controls here. Over here, you do have your, uh, your clickers, right? So you have the ability to do your right and left click, and they are very clicky, you do feel them. You also then have this little indicator that lets you know that it knows when you're typing and it knows when you're touching, so it does know the difference. At the very top here, you have some controls, right? Also some controls, and these are your volume controls. So you have brightness controls and volume controls, and all you have to do is swipe in either direction, and it works. And I'm telling you, without the drivers and without the software, I plugged in this into my Mac Ultra, and it just and all the functions are working. I just don't have the configuration, nor do I have the software. Now, you do have the ability to work this in wired mode, right? So it has a, a USB-C connector here, and then you also have the ability to use this in Bluetooth mode. I've been using it connected only at this point. Uh, what I like about this is that I've tested this on my iPad, it works. I've tested this on my Android, uh, my Galaxy S, I think it's the NS9. 
uh, the ultra wide version. And this would work also with um, Android phones as well, even though they don't claim it would, but it's a Bluetooth device and I haven't had any problems using it. Uh, really, really flexible. I do like having a full keyboard. And I would say if, if I could find a fault in this, I would say uh, right now the fault is I wish they had this in multiple versions. Um, this would be great if I can cut it in half and just get rid of this half and then just use this with both the keyboard and the, and the touchpad at the same time. I did test this with the Apple Vision Pro, but there aren't really, uh, I would say, really many products that work with the Apple Vision Pro. They kind of have it really locked down to Mac products only, which is kind of disappointing because having the touchpad and keyboard connected is, I think, um, again, a super cool deal. Outside of that, you can expect the same, um, I would say, media controls that you would expect on a keyboard. Uh, but here, the benefit is having that one uh, combined solution. So uh, let's take a look at it in action so you can see what I'm talking about. All right, guys. So now we have our keyboard, and it's connected to my Mac. And this is actually a Mac Ultra. It's what I use for desktop uh, video editing. And you can see how nicely everything here is lit up. I'll go ahead and put this in an angle right here so you can see how well that looks. And as you're actually using the mouse, and I'm just going to swipe over, you'll see how this effect takes place here. And I'm going to give you a visual on screen in a second. Uh, basically, my mouse is moving from left to right as I'm swiping left to right. You'll notice here that you see touch keys is enabled, right? Now, remember, this is a first look, so we don't have the actual software itself that actually shows you know, the, the configuration and all the options there. But here you can see how everything is lit up, right? So you have um, some cool functions right here that you can enable, right? You have uh, over here, you have your volume, your actually volume controls. And this actually works. I was using this on my Mac. So you have your multimedia functions, but then also as you swipe left to right, you're also gonna be getting the volume to go up and down, right? On the very bottom, you do have your left and right mouse button. And what you would expect from a standard keyboard. Now, one of the things I will say is that I'm used to a keyboard, you know, standard gaming keyboard. This is more of a laptop keyboard. So I will say that it does take some getting used to this style. But what I found is that as I've been using it and getting used to the lower keys from the clicky keys that I have uh, and using the actual mouse pad that's built in, I've found myself using less and less my, my actual mouse. So I thought that was pretty cool. And that's just... Just, just takes place. So let me show you how it reacts on screen. Now let's see how, how everything functions. So you can see that the pointer is right here. You can see that right there. Um, I'm actually using the actual keyboard, swiping left, swiping right, I'm gonna swipe up, swipe down, right? And if I wanna go to the top, I'm just swiping a couple times. The range, as you're swiping, you know, you're not getting the travel that you would because obviously this is a touchpad, but it's very similar to the travel that you get in the touchpad. So you notice that as I can, I can go all the way up here and I can come all the way down. I can click on things. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring it over here. I'm gonna click on the mouse. And again, that is the keyboard. That is 100% the keyboard. So that gives you a sense of what you can expect. And again, again, this is a first look of the CLVX1. So guys, that wraps up our review. See you in the next video.